Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 21st October 2018. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, and more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align the trade's direction with the market's direction. We'll study market strength using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of broad market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study that using industry scorecard and heat map. We call this top-down analysis where we first look at the market, then we drill down to sector industry rotation and finally look at stocks fundamentals and technical charts. You can carry out similar analysis in a bottom-up fashion starting with QSonar scans, technical scans, identifying trade setups and then looking up the stocks fundamentals and their industry strength. In today's session, we will primarily carry out top-down analysis. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent examples shared in Traders Forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this template at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, two weeks ago we had a candle with long upper tail that was showing bearish pressure. Since then price came down the weekly backdrop candle color has turned magenta and this week's candle shape is also bearish. In the daily chart, some time ago oil went above the upper boundary lines. Some people were bullish at that time but in superior profit way, we avoid taking swing long trades if the instrument is already above upper boundary lines. I mentioned that in the weekly market roundup at that time that was a good decision as price pulled back from there. On this Thursday price came very close to the lower boundary line. Therefore it is not in uptrend anymore. It is not in downtrend as well. The weekly backdrop candle color is magenta. Therefore if in daily price goes up little bit and then tilts down, it may give us a low risk go with flow trend following short trade opportunity. Right now there is no swing trade opportunity in oil. Gold ETF GLD. Gold dropped heavily in the weekly chart. Then weekly Backdrop candle color turned yellow for several weeks and at the right edge it has turned cyan that is bullish for 
one two three four five weeks now earlier there was a memory resistance line in the weekly chart and I mentioned that we would not take any long trade in gold until that memory resistance was broken in the daily chart also there were multiple memory resistance lines on this candle price could break above the memory resistance lines we could look for a long trade if price could go successfully above the high of this long gap up candle however if you look at all the candles since then they have bearish shape therefore at the end of those days we would not initiate any long trade we may now wait for a pullback in gold and after that if price goes up again it may give us a trend following long trade opportunity right now there is no swing trade opportunity in gold from commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are studying nasdaq composite index and nysc composite index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume both nasdaq and nysc had a number of memory support lines some of them are still there some of them have been broken in past several market roundups i had mentioned that the uptrend would be intact until these memory supports were broken some of them are already broken price is at the memory support line this week's candles for both nasdaq and nyse are bearish both in color and shape therefore we cannot say that the broad market is in uptrend now we have changed the status of longer term market trend to neutral it is not in downtrend yet it is in neutral state right now you may be careful holding long positions and look for short opportunities if the market can continue to go down below the memory support lines then the market may turn into downtrend the internals of this week are also bearish five of the internals closed below zero and four of them decline let us see if this same bearish picture is there in the market etfs s p 500 etf spy in the weekly chart it went above the watermark resistance line couldn't go much higher and now it has turned down creating a false upside breakout the weekly backdrop candle color and shape at the right edge are both bearish in the daily chart spy dropped heavily tried to recover could reach only the lower boundary lines and dropped again from there it is below lower boundary lines that is oversold we may not take any short trade right now and it is in downtrend so we may not take any long trade either nasdaq etf qqq here in the weekly chart we had a bearish headwind signal that has beautifully caught the very top of nasdaq this week's candle color and shape both are bearish in the weekly chart price is close to a memory support level in the daily like spy price dropped heavily tried to recover in this case it could go above the lower boundary lines somewhere near the value area and then dropped again at the right edge price is at lower boundary level to oversold to start taking new swing short trade and it is in downtrend so we will not take any long trade either dow jones industrial average etf dia 
in the weekly chart price tried to go above the watermark resistance and reverse below that creating a false downside breakout price is at memory support in the weekly chart this week's candle color and shape both are bearish in the daily chart the bearish headwind signal could catch the very top some of the q traders could use the bearishness in the market and the bearish headwind signal in dia to take some very profitable day trades in the short direction using put options dia dropped heavily tried to recover and like the other etfs dropped again price is at lower boundary level to oversold to take any short trade it is in downtrend so there is no long setup either Russell 2000 ETF IWM again magically the bearish headwind in the weekly chart could catch the very top since then it dropped heavily the relative performance line shows that IWM is the weakest ETF right now in the daily chart it dropped heavily couldn't even recover to the lower boundary levels and drop again it is below lower boundary levels to oversold to take any short trade and in very much downtrend therefore there is no long trade setup either both market bread and market ETF study shows that the market is bearish not a suitable time to take many long trades you may look for short trades instead where to look for short trades you can look for them in the weak industries and weak fundamental stocks you can do that in a top down fashion starting with sector industry analysis drilling down into stocks fundamentals and then looking at stocks technical charts let us start with sector industry analysis now four week sector performance analysis the red bar represents performance of this week green bar performance of one week prior to the red bar blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance this week eight sectors went down three went up and the three that went up utilities real estate and consumer staples are defensive sectors the sector performance graph shows a growing number of sectors turning negative you can see that from the red bars coming to the left of the zero line it may be prudent to protect profit in long positions and look for short opportunities where to look for short opportunities in the weakest sectors or even better in the weakest industries when you drill down to the industry level as the market is looking weak you might consider shorting weak etfs as well you could use q sonar to find the etfs that are at the optimal short point let us have a look at the sector performance from q edge QH sector scorecard and heat map we are studying the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods magenta represents weakness and cyan represents strength this week energy consumer discretionary and materials are the weakest sectors consumer staples real estate utilities are the strongest sectors from the color transition across multiple review periods you can see utilities is one of the strongest over multiple recent review periods energy was stronger earlier cyan and now turning into weakness same is true for infotech it was cyan earlier and now it is turning weak 
how to use the information if you are looking for short opportunities you may look for them in the weak sectors and if you are looking for long opportunities you may look for them in the strong sectors however sector level is quite broad you may drill down to industries level and look for long and short opportunities in strong and weak industries respectively let's continue with industry analysis these are the 10 best performing industries of this week this is where you may look for long opportunities we are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 days scores from the scores you can see some industries like drug retail water utilities etc are strong this week and they were strong one week ago as well all these 10 best performing industries are in defensive sectors showing the overall weakness of the market in such a market it may be easier to take profitable trades on the short side than on the long side still using q360 degrees analysis you can identify stocks that are fundamentally strong that are in strong industries and that are giving technical buy opportunities in water utilities one of the best performing industries of this week as well as of the previous week you could identify this stock awk this stock is optimally valued it has steady recent quarter earnings growth on tuesday it gave a go with flow trend following long trade setup in the daily chart it has hit initial profit target upper boundary on friday you could book partial profit let us look at the best performing industries from qh locate water utilities and then drill down into awk to see how you could take the profitable long trade even while the market was weak qh industry analysis using scorecard and heat map the best performing industries of the week are shown with cyan color over five days period water utilities is one of the strongest industries you can see it is very beautifully nicely transitioning from weakness magenta color to strength cyan color let's drill down to the underlying stocks from the stock scorecard you can instantly see that awk is optimally valued it has cyan color over valuation primary column and the recent three quarterly earnings columns are showing that it has steady earnings growth shown with green color awk gave a technical buy point this week let's look at its technical charts awk in the weekly chart it was moving inside a narrow range it had multiple weekly candles with long lower tail showing that bulls were able to defend the price it had memory trend line support in the weekly chart this week price precisely touched the memory support and went up strongly from there while doing that in the daily chart on this candle it gave us a trend following long trade setup if you were using real time sonar q scan program you could identifying the long opportunity during the day and probably you could take the long trade somewhere in the lower half of this cyan color candle stop would be just below recent low stop was never approached initial profit target was upper boundary that was hit on friday following discipline at least partial profit would be booked in this case we have a stock that is fundamentally strong technically strong and it is in a strong industry following q guideline under such circumstances we would like to hold on to partial position try to 
let profit run. From best performing industries, we move on to the worst performing industries. We are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 days course. Because these are very weak industries, this is where you will look for short opportunities. In the last few market roundups, I suggested that it would be easier to make profitable trades on the short side as the market was turning weak. The same view is valid this week as well. In recent times, you could make handsome profit shorting weak fundamental stocks in weak industries. You could find one such example in home building, the home building industry is one of the weakest over many review periods in Q scorecard and CCS in this industry is fundamentally overvalued. It gave a go with flow trend following short setup on 20th September in the daily chart. That trade turned out to be hugely profitable. CCS has dropped by almost 24% since then. Let's look at the worst performing industries from QH. Look at home building and then see how you could take a confident and profitable short trade in CCS. In QH, the worst performing industries are shown with magenta color over 5 days period. Home building is one of the weakest industries this week and looking to the right you can see it had been weak for quite a while. While it was weak you could take very profitable short trades in weak fundamental stocks. Let's drill down to find the weak fundamental stocks. Instantly from color coding you know that CCS is overvalued. It is in magenta color over valuation primary column. This gave a very profitable short trade opportunity on Q charts. Let's have a look at that. CCS. While the industry was weak, the stock also dropped heavily. While that was happening in the weekly chart, in the daily chart on this day, 20th September, we had a magenta color candle that was a signal for go with flow short trade setup. You could take the short at the close of the day putting stop just above recent high. Initial profit target would be lower boundary which was hit in one day. At that time the stock was overvalued, the industry was weak and the technical was very weak. Therefore following Q guideline you could book partial profit with discipline and hold on to the remaining position trying to let profit run and that would be a very wise decision as the stock is sharply falling since then. At the right edge it is continuing to drop therefore you would continue to hold the remaining position with trailing stop using Q protection signal to protect your profit. There is no need to exit the remaining position right now. Other than the best and worst performing industries, we also study the accelerating and decelerating industries. Accelerating industries are those which may be behind now but are starting to gain strength very rapidly. These are the industries where you might look for long opportunities. As I mentioned, it is not the easiest time to make money from long trades. If the market turns up, the accelerating industries may give low risk and high profit swing trade opportunities. You may keep an eye on strong fundamental stocks in these industries. I identified food distributors industry as one of the accelerating industries. It is not in the top 10 most accelerating industries is not appearing in this graph but using QH you could identify food distributors also as one of the accelerating industries. Then drilling down you could identify PFGC. In terms of valuation it is medium valued. It has positive annual and 
quarterly earnings growth. On Q technical charts, it completed a false downside breakout in the weekly chart. If the industry continues to strengthen, you may keep an eye on this stock for a low risk buy opportunity. Let us look at the accelerating industries in Q edge. Look at food distributors and drill down into PFGC, study its fundamentals and also technicals. In Q industry scorecard, the accelerating industries are shown with cyan color over base 5 days column. You can see some of the industry scores are not yet fully cyan. So they may not be the strongest right now. However, they are rapidly gaining strength. These industries were much more magenta before and turning into strength. And using acceleration, you could find turning industries and turning stocks in them well ahead of others. Food distributors is one industry that was very weak earlier. We can see that from the magenta color in previous review periods. Current week strength is bullish. The current week score is in cyan color and it is accelerating that is shown by cyan color in the base column. Therefore, you can drill down and try to look for fundamentally strong stocks that are also starting to turn up. Those may give low risk swing buy opportunities as well as long term investment opportunities. Let's drill down. Instantly from the stock scorecard we can see PFGC is medium valued. Its valuation primary score is in yellow color. From the EPS columns you can see that the yearly earnings as well as the recent quarterly earnings are all in green color showing steady earnings growth. PFGC completed a false downside breakout in the weekly chart. Let's have a look at it. PFGC while the industry was weak the stock also dropped one week ago it went below the watermark support level and this week it reversed closing above the support level therefore completing a false downside breakout at the same time in the daily chart also it tried to go below multiple support levels, pivot levels, however differs from there, creating a false breakout in the daily chart as well. This stock is having accelerating earnings growth, medium valuation. The industry is accelerating. The stock has completed a false downside breakout. If the industry continues to strengthen, you may look for a low risk buy opportunity in this stock. In this way, you can use Q acceleration to look for turn around candidates in industries that are accelerating and in stocks that are also starting to turn up. Lastly, we look at the decelerating industries. These are the industries that are rapidly declining in strength. We are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 days scores. You can see the 5 days scores are much lower than their 10 days scores. These industries are ripe for short opportunities. Market is also weak and these industries are decelerating. If you can identify weak fundamental stocks that are giving technical short opportunities you can probably make handsome profit from them. Interactive home entertainment gave such an opportunity. In this industry, TTWO is medium valued and has recent quarter negative earnings growth. Therefore, you could start to look for short opportunity on 
Thursday it gave a go with flow trend following short setup in the daily chart. On Thursday the candle had a long lower tail therefore you could take the short using early range breakout technique on fine tune intraday chart on next trading day that was Friday and you could make a hefty profit from that trend. Let us look at the distillating industries from QH, look at interactive home entertainment and then drill down into TTWO to see how easily you could take the very profitable short trend. In Q industry scorecard, the distillating industries are shown with magenta color over page 5 days column. You can see for all of these industries, the scores are declining heavily. Interactive home entertainment is one of the decelerating industries shown by magenta color under base column and it is also one of the weakest industries shown by magenta score under 5 days column. Therefore the industry is weak, it is decelerating. These industries are ripe for short opportunities. Let us drill down. TTWO is medium valued. The valuation column is in yellow color and you can see the recent quarter earnings growth is negative in bright red color. Industry is decelerating. The earnings is also decelerating. That is the stock to look for short opportunities using technical charts. Such an opportunity came on Thursday. Let us look at the charts. TTWO. Once again, the bearish headwind in the weekly chart as well as in the daily chart could catch the very top of the stock. After that, the stock fell down. In the daily chart on this Thursday, we had a magenta color candle. That was a go with flow trend following short trade setup. As the candle had a long lower tail, you could wait for next day and try to take the short trade on Friday using Q fine tune real time intraday chart. Let us look at the intraday chart, fine tune chart to see if you indeed had a low risk short opportunity. TTWO using 5 minute fine tune chart. We had a go with flow trend following short setup on daily chart on Thursday. You could start to look for a low risk entry opportunity using 5 minute chart on Friday. On Friday price opened at this level. Soon after that the early range low, the cyan color line and early range high, the upper cyan color pivot line were drawn. In early range breakout technique, you can take the short trade if price closes below early range low which happened on this candle. You could take a short at this price point, put stop just above day's high which was early range high in this case. As price fell down and hit the red pivot level already the risk distance was covered. You could book partial profit and then hold on to the remaining position till the end of the day. At the end of the day you could book full profit or looking at the weakness of the stock of the industry and fundamentals you could hold on to partial position making it a swing trade or a two day trade. In this example you could take a very profitable precise short trade on Friday in a stock that is decelerating, earnings is negative now and the stock is an industry that is decelerating as well. Those were our usual topics. Let me summarize. Market breadth analysis shows that both NASDAQ and NYSE came down. Some of the weekly memory support lines are now broken. Few are still there. Based on that movement, 
we have changed the longer term market trend from bullish to neutral. It is not in downtrend yet. If the broad indices continue to fall below the remaining memory support lines, then the long term direction will change to downtrend. What about intermediate trend? That we can study from the weekly and daily charts of the market ETFs. That study shows that the medium term trend is already in downtrend. Sectors are weakening. The only up sectors are the defensive sectors. What to do under such a market condition? If you are holding long positions, you may be careful. Book profit in them or protect profit using trailing stop. And you may take very profitable short trades. You may take them in weak fundamental stocks in weak industries or decelerating industries. You could also take them in ETFs that are giving technical short trade setups. You could find such short trade setups on ETFs using QSonar scan program. In this way, whatever be the market condition, you can take profitable trades in the market's direction, in the industry's direction using Q360 degrees analysis. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably. Mm -hmm.